Good morning, everybody. Beautiful day the Lord Jesus Christ has made. Uh, thank God for give, giving me another day to wake up, to be able to, to just have an ex, walk in and ex, examine myself, you know, and have some, and meditate upon the Word of God and meditate upon His greatness and just how wonderful and perfect and great He is and how He's in everything around that we see. You know, uh, Matthew 5, 8 says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So I want to ask you all this question. It's something you can ask yourself. It could be a self-examination question. Do you ask yourself every day, you know, do I see God? What do I see God in? You know, do I see God just in church? Do I see God just in... Uh, you know people that are doing something for the Lord or can I see good the, the God in everything considering that he covers the all the heavens and the earth so I was uh, listening to brother Michael Pearl one day and it was just a short clip and it was about blessed are the pure in heart and it really got me thinking you know how simplistic that verse is because a lot of times our heart gets filled with so much sludge and, and grime and dirt and wickedness that we can't see God because uh, we're blocking it from the, from the things of the world. What we're putting in, into our ears and our mouth and our nose and our eyes, and, you know, constantly. But once we start meditating on the Word of God and putting that in and, and filtering that out and cleaning it out, you know, then we can start being more appreciative and see God in a lot of things. And, you know, I, as I, as the Lord continues to work on me every day, you know, he, he, I have a long list of things that I don't, I can't see the good in, you know, and that's, that's just the way it is. And that's me being completely honest with you, but that verse just in itself, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And I know the Bible says no man shall see God at any time. That's in all his glory. I mean, that's in his, if we saw God, you know, in every bit of glory, the way we are is, is sinners and flesh. And we, we can't, there's no way that corruption can be in the presence of God. But, you know, we could, we could see God through his creation, you know, through little things that even our animals do you know how they my little dog tries to do things you know to, to you know humbles himself before me and then wants me to, to praise him and stuff you know a lot of times animals are more pr appreciative than us humans are but that's just something to think about guys because i mean we're surrounded in the world right now that we're constantly filling our heart with with sludge and, and garbage and just nothing but junk but and it's a, it's also it's a growing process so you know brother james and i are gonna go and go out handing some tracks out today doing a little bit of personal work lord willing somebody to get saved and come to the, you know into the kingdom of god today and lord jesus christ will accept him with open arms our angels will be rejoicing you guys just pray for us and I want to wish you all and I hope you all have a very blessed day I hope you know that the blessings and mercy of God upon each and every one of you and I want you all to know that you know I didn't start doing this because I, I got all the answers I know everything because I don't and it's a growing process for me as well and I'm just out here doing my walk, walking to my mom's, gonna get prayed up, read the word with her a little bit. And I just wanted to share that with you all, and I hope you all have a blessed day. God bless you, and Lord willing, I, when Brother James gets gets here, whatnot, we'll try to get some personal work, maybe a little street preaching, and witnessing, or handing up tracks, a little, a little bit of something. What's going on? That way, you all can be a part of it too. I need to get back in running shape because, uh, well, just, 
just need to. But sometimes the world, that's another thing, the world and sin and everything around us can overwhelm us sometimes. And, and people, we can get so aggravated with people and we can focus so much on the, on the problem that we're not always focusing on the solution. We can keep, keep our thoughts continually on the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray without season. There's so much into that book. And there's so much that I don't do. So much that I need to be doing that I don't do. And vice versa. So, and another thing I was going to... The Lord put on my heart to have my mom do a just, a... just a testimony of what the Lord Jesus Christ did for you, did for her. How He brought her back from the dead. You know, not once but twice. And I told her to pray about it and stuff. And, and Lord willing, that would be coming shortly too. God bless y'all. Have a blessed day.